Welcome back. In this video, I'll be going over how I made the Ender Chest for Tales of Glarthrud. For the map, we wanted to have a shared Ender Chest inventory for all players, so I created a system to emulate Ender Chests using Trap Chests and Command Blocks. I'm using Trap Chests for a couple of reasons. Firstly, we wanted to be able to use the player's actual Ender Chest inventory for data storage, for stuff that we needed easy access to, like the customized character and various strings, like the shortened name that the CBC system uses. And second, we need to have an object with the model and animation of an ender chest, and retexturing a trap chest accomplishes that fairly easily, with the added benefit of outputting a redstone signal when open that can be used to easily detect when a chest is opened. Ideally, we would have an inventory that all players can have open at the same time, allowing one player to put in an item, and all other players with the ender chest open at that time can see the item immediately. But the execution of something like that would be insanely complicated, and probably would be similar to implementing Git into Minecraft. I would essentially have to keep a ledger of all items and all player inventories as well as in the ender chest in order to ensure that if two or more players deposit or withdraw an item from the same slot at the same time, then no items would be lost or duplicated. So I instead went with a simple implementation. Under each ender chest is a command block that runs the chest opened function. This function locks all ender chests in the world and copies the items in the ender chest storage into the open chest. Now this would still cause problems if multiple players opened different chests in the same tick. So to prevent that, I have a command that counts how many players have opened an ender chest in a tick, and if that is two or more, I invalidate all ender chests in the world. Uh, by that, I mean I replace all trap chests with cyan glazed terracotta and then back into trap chests. This kicks players out of the chest so they can't potentially dupe or delete items. The last thing I need to be able to do is to detect when a player closes a chest. This is done fairly easily with the time score that is counting up from the repeating command block that is under the ender chest, and an execute command in the main tick function that checks to see if the time score is the same between two ticks. If it is, it runs the close function that copies the items from the ender chest into storage, then resets all ender chests. Well, that more or less covers how the ender chests and TOG work. Uh, if you want to check out Tales of Glutherford for yourself, you can click the link in the description down below, where I will also have a link to TS's channel, where there might be some other videos covering tech and TOG soon enough. Uh, so yeah, thanks for watching, and uh, we'll catch y'all next time.